All right, this might be new to some of you. So, he thinks I'm going to hit him. He's not up for it. He's going to block. Okay? He's going to block. He's going to block, and I'm going to hit his door. And I'm going to hit his door on this side. Gaku door. Hidari door. Whatever you want to call it. Okay? I like to call it Gaku door. All right? This side. If we want to make this Ippon, there's a couple of criteria that are really important. All right? Now, I know that for some of you this will be new. I'll take you through the basics of it in a moment. But first, the things that are really important, really important is one, his feet have to be planted. His feet have to be planted. Blocking. Not ducking, but... Yeah? He can't be this way. Okay? Has to be planted. Second, his left hand has to be over his head. Okay? Pretty much. All right? This is a gray area. Yeah, but let's keep it simple and say his left hand has to be over his head. He has to block like this. Okay? If he blocks like this, and I just managed to squeeze my shinai in there, I wouldn't expect to get Ippon. Okay? I wouldn't expect it. You have to have the good opportunity. So, we know that if he's the sort of person that's likely to defend, I can create a situation where I'm going to put him in the position where I can be awarded the Gakudo Ippon. All right? I don't just leave it to chance and hope that he blocks how I want him to. I have to make him do that. Okay? I'll get to that in a minute, but first let's talk about the hitting. All right? Everyone loves hitting Gakudo. Everyone seems to love it. Not quite sure why. I think it's because it makes a loud noise. It makes you feel like samurai, maybe. Yeah? Lots of people do it wrong. And then ask me, why didn't you give me Ippon? You go like this. Yeah! Why was this no Ippon? I said before, didn't I? A strike has to have what? Kikentai no Ichi. Does this have Kikentai no Ichi? No. I'm just doing this. Anyone can do this. Yeah? This is an uh, Ippon. Okay? I have to use my body, my, uh, my footwork. Okay? Yeah. Different. Can you see different? One, two, see a difference? Hear a difference? Yeah? So, I strike here with my left hand, not with my right hand. If I use my right hand to bash his door, you're going to break your shinai. If you break your shinai every week because you practice gyakudo, it's because you're doing it wrong. It's not the shinai's fault. I don't care where you bought it from. Okay. This is going to break your shinai. Because you're not using the shinai properly. You have to flex the shinai from here to here, not from here to here. Okay? Then I have to keep my left hand in the middle of my body. I have to keep the left hand in the middle of my body. Is this in the middle of my body? No. But Andy, how do you keep the left hand in the middle of your body? How do you keep the left hand in the middle of your body when you've got to get the shinai? Then the shinai is going to stop there, right? How do I do it? You, the hips, yeah. She knows. Yeah? This way. I don't need much power. I don't need much power. Okay? I'm not using my force. I'm using the shinai in my hips and my footwork. Okay? And lastly, my posture. Not this way, okay? Sorry, I just hit him right on the hip. Yeah? That's what happens if you do this. Yeah? So you don't need to do that. Okay? Any questions so far? After hitting, after hitting for this one, I want you to move diagonally away. Try to keep your eyes on them, all right? This way. And you must separate quickly. Okay? That means after this strike, here, quickly, 
move your feet, okay? For you guys, you can move uh, the swing. Just try slowly, okay? As you get more comfortable, you can start to speed it up. Try to make it smooth, you guys, yeah? Not uh, 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 but, okay? If you make it robotic, he'll catch on, <laughs> okay? In your pairs, I want you to stagger, okay? Move to where there's some space because you have to move laterally here. This way, okay? One last time, yeah! Oh! Okay? Make sense? Should we try? Let's go.